Hello friends, welcome back to my channel you guys. I am in my bathroom. We are going to find an outfit to wear because we're gonna head to, we're gonna head to Kohl's to return a few things. I feel like I'm always returning things to Amazon, but you know when you buy things online, sometimes it doesn't work out. So Amazon has made it easy where you can go to Kohl's and just like easily give the Kohl's employee the Amazon product and they'll pack it up and they have the shipping label and they'll ship it back to Amazon. So that is what I'm doing today. Also, I wanted to give you guys an update on why I was gone for so long last week I think you guys are seeing this video this week last week I didn't upload Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday I was gone for like four days and it's because we were trying to kind of get this bedroom together so this is our master they're best friends I promise so let's do a little master bedroom tour since we're right here. So when you walk in, this is the door. You guys, look how big this door is. I feel like I've never actually shown you how freaking huge this door is. I've never had a door this big in my life. It's freaking ginormous and I just love the black detailing all around our house originally I wanted like the long handles but you know who gets who can open the door with long handles oh man oh man literally will jump up put his two paws and open the door so it's good that we have round handles but when you walk into our bedroom this is what it looks like wanted to give you guys an update because this is what we've been doing we've been trying to just finish everything you guys and also with this bedroom I wanted everything to be done so I can start decorating because it was so hard to try to decorate when there were still boxes here and there um, in every other corner but yes yeah, so when you walk in these two are in here right now. When you walk in, you see the dog houses. I get a lot of questions about these dog beds. So these dog beds slash houses are from Etsy. They are custom, not homemade, custom made. I don't know how to explain it. But basically, they have different models you can choose from. They're all the they are coming all the way from Ukraine. So pa um, shipping was oh my gosh, I think I had to wait two months for them to get here but this is what they look like they're very modern and that's what i love about them is that sometimes a lot of be uh, a lot of dog products can be too colorful or maybe too like in the toy category for kids like too, just too much fun i wanted something that one the dogs would be extremely comfortable in two it keeps them safe and three it matches the rest of our home so this is what the houses look like. They're very good material, super sturdy, and the, the when they ship, they came in different pieces and you just have to nail all the pieces together. And they also have a door like this. And also, <laughs> Rocky, Rocky loves it. And also, <laughs> Rocky's modeling for you guys. Our dogs love their houses. But anywho, um, the house comes with the bed, but it does not come with a blanket. The blanket was a, a little blanket that I bought off Amazon. I just typed in like dog blanket and it was like a pack, I believe. But the good news is it does come with the bed. So that was my favorite part. Rocky, Cooper, and sometimes Casper. Casper doesn't love it too much, but Rocky loves his bed. They're very comfortable. You, he wants to go in his. <laughs> you can get it without the door. So this door is is optional they do have a model where you can get it without the door however the reason that we even have this is because we have four dogs so at the end of the night when god forbid there's an emergency we know that our dogs are safe inside the houses and we also keep leashes by our bed so if we gotta go carlos has his responsibility which is he's gonna go open every single door and hook onto the boys the boys have a three leash so they can stay together and then that is riley Riley's bed right there. I believe that Riley's bed is from, oh man, I think the brand is called Turf and Needle or something. I don't remember. But his bed was quite an investment, but it was extremely comfortable. And I wanted to make sure that Riley was extremely comfortable at night. There's another bed that we got off Amazon that is probably like $60 cheaper. And that one's pretty good too. We put that outside for all of them to lay. Look at him. Oh my goodness, you guys. But yes, that's why we have the doors. And the doors are easy to lock. They're not like super intense or anything and our dogs don't mind when the doors are locked so that makes us feel a little bit better i think that it makes them feel extremely safe the doors are gonna get little prints and stuff so you'll probably have to clean that more often but yeah i love these houses i get so many questions about them and so i wanted to share i will link them down below they are quite an investment but our dogs deserve the best so as you guys can tell old man loves it look at him he's so peaceful in his house 
and they have different sizes. I believe that I got the largest size that they offer. But if you have a dog like Clementine who weighs like 12 pounds, you most likely can go with a, something a little bit smaller and save yourself some money. I'm sorry, Koopy. Mommy has to get up. I'm sorry. So if you go over here, this is Riley's bed. I also got him the same blanket. And his bed is really cool. It's easy to wash. Like I said, quite an investment, but it's very, very comfortable for Riley. And then this pot thing is from Crate and Barrel, I believe. No, 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 CP2. Oh my God, I can't remember, but I will definitely link it down below. And then this olive tree is my favorite olive tree. This is the second one that we have in the house. It is the Studio McGee olive tree from Target. It's around 100 50 bucks and it's so big and fluffy and realistic and I love it and then you guys saw this this is gonna be my makeup area I got the chair and the table from Target and I have to stock the table with makeup products but this is my little section and I have this huge window that looks out to the backyard and then this is our bed right here so our bed is from Living Spaces, and then all the bedding is from Target. It's their Casa Luna collection, and then the pillows in the back are also from Target. These nightstands actually are from Target, but they came a really yellow color. I thought I got like a light wood color, but it's, it was really yellow, so our friends Jocelyn and Brian painted it and put different handles on for us. So this is what it looks like. So I'm thinking over here, I'm gonna put like a black leaning ladder. Um, I'm gonna leave this empty empty because I just, I don't know. I'm not feeling too much anything above the bed right now. Over here on this wall, I'm gonna put two picture frames that I will frame Carlos and I's um, wedding vows to each other. So that'll be a little personal touch. And then you walk into our bathroom area. This is our bathroom. I love that actually there's no door. A lot of people were like, oh, are you gonna put a barn door or anything? Carlos and I love how open it is, so we don't mind. We're definitely never going to put a door here, but this is a his and her sink. We have like a dirty laundry basket. This is from West Elm. I think it's the cutest thing ever. It also has wheels, so you can wheel it to the laundry area. But this is usually where I am getting ready in the morning. Please ignore all of that. We have to recycle pretty soon. This is um, my my side and Carlos's side. And then I got a chance to organize a few things as well um, over the last few days. I put a lot of my hair products and accessories and stuff in here. But yeah, and then at the top are my most used items. So like my most used skincare item and then Carlos's side. And then all of this is organized too. We have our most used things, and then mostly it's all of my stuff. This is like my hair products and stuff here. And then I believe more hair products. And then this side is like miscellaneous things that we might need. Nothing special, you guys. And hello, this is Carlos's side. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. And then this is our big tub. Our tub is super big. I believe it's like seven feet. I believe seven feet across. It fits Carlos and he's six feet. So that gives you an idea of how long this uh, tub is. But this little thing I got at Target as well. I get questions on it all the time. I got this at Target and then I got that at Target. Everything's from Target. And then we also have a standing shower right next door to the tub. A lot of people always ask where I got these white shelves. So these are actually white um, picture frame shelves. These shelves are used to put picture frames on them so they don't fall. That's why they have that little border at the front. But I saw them at Target. I believe they come in different sizes and they range between like $15 and $25, I believe, for each. So I got four and the first two right here are my hair products. And then I'm gonna put my perfume and Carlos has his perfume at the top. It looks like a Sephora, you guys. It's so organized and aesthetically pleasing. So we decided to put it there. We're gonna put a towel rack right here because as you can tell, there's only one on the shower door, so we need another one. And here, oh, hello, you guys. Check out this outfit, it's from Shein. I got this months ago, and I think this whole set was like $10. I got it a little too big, but it's a comfortable pajama set. Here is our private toilet 
So morning shifts are taken here. And I just love that it's separated from everything else. So if you look this way, our bedroom is out there. And then over here is our walk-in closet. So across from the toilet, you will see our huge walk-in closet. This was really a selling point for Carlos and I when we were house hunting. And we saw that we were able to have a big walk-in closet. We called up our, jo our friends Jocelyn and Brian right away and they came in and custom built these uh, shelves for us and these kind of compartments so we were able to organize our clothes better. When we first moved in, um, I'm sure you guys watched the vlog because I did vlog about it and it's also on Instagram, but when we first moved in, this was just a shelf, a shelf, and a shelf and it had rods and you kind of just hung your clothes and I was like, oh my god, where is the storage? So. For the fast past for the fast <laughs> for the past few days, um, we've been organizing our clothes. We're still doing laundry, but this section is all of my shoes. So we have all of my casual sneakers, vans, and then it goes down to dressier shoes and Uggs. And then what's on the left side is my side, and what's on the right is Carlos's. So if you just go here, these are my long dresses. Once all of the laundry is done, I'm gonna go back here and organize it into different different colors. I want to be color coordinated because it'll be easier for me to find things. So all of these dresses will be reorganized. But one of the things I love when Jocelyn and Brian were designing this closet was I wanted a section for my long dresses. That was something that I've never had. And I always ran into problems because the dresses would touch the floor when they're too long. So now my dresses fit perfectly. And then at the bottom, we have like shorts and jeans and stuff. And then at the top, we have a mixture of all the tops. So so hoodies, crew necks, t-shirts, long sleeves, dressier tops. That's why I have to go back in and organize. This won't be like the final step. In those boxes, these boxes are shoe boxes that I got at the container store. And in these boxes are my designer shoes. So shoes that are a little bit more expensive. Get to, ah! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my God! Carlos! <laughs> Did you not hear me? No, Mimi. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I think my heart is literally in my vagina. I'm oh, sorry. Babe, as I was saying, you know what, since you're here, film me. Scared Kim. I didn't mean to scare her. I walked in and she was filming. She was giving you guys a tour of our closet and I, I, I didn't want to, no, I didn't want to say anything because you were talking so she turned around and she saw me. I, oh I thought God, she- I had the door closed. So I would have heard it, but you probably were quiet. Yeah. Moving on, <laughs> these boxes have our designer shoes, like more investment shoes, so I like to keep them protected. And then these are, this video turned into like a tour. <laughs> I got excited. <laughs> this is um, my bigger bag, so I, I'm a huge fan of Dagny Dover, you guys. So we have the Louis Vuitton, we have the beach bag, and then the four that's here. The, uh, that's our, oh wait, sorry. I forgot that this thing focuses. This is our diaper bag. Yes, that's we got a diaper. Oh, bag. that's the little one, one that one that Kim uses, and then that's the big and one whenever I use it. The only reason I got it, we're not pregnant. I promise. I, a lot of people think that we're pregnant. We are trying soon, and I got it because it was on sale. There was a huge sale, so I was like, "Babe, do you want a diaper bag?" Because I've always wanted a Dagny Dover bag, so I hopped on it, you guys. Um, and then over here are my coats, my bigger coats, um, my nicer coats. Like I love this one. This will be really quick. I'll, once the closet is organized. You guys will see like a closet tour and I'll break it down for you. Here are my uh, higher end purses. So I have the Chanel's, um, more Chanel's. I have the Pauline's. Pauline's really good if you guys are looking for bags in the hundreds. I believe that these bags are $200, $300, which is a lot for a bag. But if you're looking for an investment piece and you're not, you know, you're like, I'm not going to spend like thousands of dollars. I love Pauline. I'll link their website down below for you guys. I like these because they're, they wrap around your belt. I, oh, those? Yeah, I love those. When she first showed them to me, I was like, oh, that's actually really cool. And when I posted this on Instagram a few days ago, and a lot of you guys asked for a designer bag breakdown of what you should buy, because I totally agree. When I first started investing in designer bags, I didn't know what to buy and what would last me. So you want to put your money towards something that will last you. So we'll do that in another video. And then we have my Louis Vuittons here. Um, and then all of this are like my nicer shoes. So like these are my Ted Bakers. They're like one of my favorite. Do you see them, babe? 
They sparkle? Yeah. I like that they sparkle, but they're not a tacky sparkle. Mm. It doesn't look tacky, but yeah, these are my Ted Baker heels. I also have them in black as well. They're so beautiful. Ted Baker's are really good brands if you're looking for something more in the hundreds for designer. And then we have Carlos's collection of hats which you guys don't be fooled some of these are like layered three four times so he has oh, yeah. I have him. he has a lot of hats he loves them i have them stacked and then you're gonna move on to carlos's side carlos has the same shoe situation where his custom made basketball shoes are protected in the boxes and then his higher end shoes and like the the nicer shoes i guess yes are in the little cupboard so they don't get oh. dusty and stuff i know a lot of people said um when i posted on instagram they said kim you need to cover your your bags because they're expensive i am the type of person where if i have them in a dust bag i will never get to them and i won't use them so i have to physically see my stuff in order to use them so that's why they're displayed and it's it honestly doesn't get that dusty in here and we do put an effort to kind of dust it down as well and i use them pretty much all the time i like being able to to kind of see everything i have these are carlos's bottoms he's still organizing them right now we're not completely done cooper's hiding and then carlos's hoodie collection is huge um carlos and i actually share a lot of clothes when it comes to hoodies so that's always great when we go shopping we get to share everything and then it goes into carlos's shoes oh my god ignore this part because we have to still do that this part right here is going to be my accessories so i'm gonna put like my jewelry and stuff here and then i wanted to show you guys this thing this thing right here is a shoe organizer that you can just hook on behind any door in your home and it was super inexpensive. I think maybe it was $20, $25, I believe. I got it last year, so I'll try to link it down below. I do know they still have it. If you are a college student, this is great to store your shoes, but it stores a lot of shoes. I store just miscellaneous shoes here, sandals. You can also use this to store mini little purses. You can store clothes in here. You can store pretty much anything, and I just love how pretty it is, and it just hangs behind your door, and it's out of the way so i definitely highly suggest this this was probably like one of my best purchases i i freaking love this you guys i'll link it for you guys but that is our closet so far we're not completely done uh i think carlos and i want to come back and reorganize and everything but, but it looks way better than it did you guys like, oh my god it was a mess you guys it we was, couldn't even get in here yeah it was, it was bad it was crazy but now i mean at least yeah. we can walk in and we love it and these are the frames by the way that we're putting in the bedroom and Carlos and I are gonna put our vowels in here. I got this frame at Target. I feel like this whole video is Target. Quite expensive. I think they were 40 bucks a frame. I don't know too much about frames, but I did think 40 bucks was kind of, mm. but it is, it's pretty big, so. It came up here. <laughs> Kespe. Kespe, honey. Hi, baby. You're here. Riley's here too. They're so freaking cute. I can't. Rake. Riley. Hi, baby. Hi. This is what I'm wearing today. We're going to Stater Brothers to grab some patties. Everything's from... Every, <laughs> we just got a heat warning because it's really hot uh, where we live. But I got this top from H&M. You guys, H&M has the best basics ever. This is an oversized shirt. And then these shorts, I got too big. I got an extra large and I realized that I can actually fit into a large. But these shorts were $12, you guys. And this shirt was $6. And then for my bag, I am wearing my... I never know how to say this brand long sham long sham long it's like long champ but i think in fancy ways they like say long sham i got this like two years no three years ago i believe um at south coast plaza because they have a st an actual store there where you can go in and shop all of their bags and then for shoes i am wearing my uh slides but yeah casual outfit if you guys are looking for cute ba basics i definitely recommend h&m <sighs> what are you getting a bowl. I'm getting a salad bowl. My favorite is a salad bowl. And I get double steak, mild brown rice, um, a little bit of pot, a little bit of cheese, corn, and more lettuce. I literally could work here. I'm not even kidding. You could. I like know the whole menu. You could work here. I could. Mm -hmm. Are you getting carnitas? Yeah. Michelle likes carnitas. Or barbacoa. Or I do half half. But I only like the carnitas when it's dry. Mm, and they, when they give me the, the broth part at the bottom, ooh, I can't do it. Ooh, it's so hot today, you guys. 
way too hot for our liking. Like, I'm all, Mom. I know. What is my... I know. Whenever it's really hot and sweaty, I get, like, kind of swollen. We just went to um, Starbucks, and I got these three cups. Mom, how much were they? Three dollars. Three dollars each. Um, I'm putting together a gift basket for my last neighbor. He finally moved in with his kids, and so I'm going to drop off a housewarming basket. And now we're going to go to Stata Brothers to get some patties, because we're going to do some burgers. Oh, and I got a coffee frappuccino, which is my current favorite drink at Starbucks. You literally just go up to the counter and say you want a coffee frappuccino. I probably look like this because I put moisturizer on, so now I'm all, like, sweaty and... Like, you know? Uh oh, well, that's a waste of good moisturizer. I know. That's good. Wow. Hello. Welcome to Cafe Michelle. Oh my gosh, they're all waiting for their little chicken patties. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> This has been very popular in the household. Uh, <laughs> these fresh pet home style chicken patties. We have to cut them in small pieces for all the dogs. They're just waiting. Look at Riley patiently waiting. Hi, baby. Wow, look at all the chicken. Rocky's so excited. He's like bouncing. Sit. You're eating way too fast, honey. Baby Cooper sliding. <laughs> Oh man, oh man, I need like 10 more chews from you. What do you have to say? I need to do my eyebrows. <gasps> you do? I thought you were gonna get them. them waxed this week. Oh my gosh, we're gonna give Clem all these cute clothes. It doesn't fit Koopy anymore. These PJs are so cute. Carlos is doing the laundry. This is his uh, folding station. Yeah. Someone decided to come in the new closet and leave a mark. Found a little wet pee right here. This carpet cleaner is the best, you guys. I'll link it down below. How cute. This used to be um, Cooper's old outfit. Casper, Casper, was it yours or was it Koopy's? I feel like I've seen it on both of them. How funny. Oh, Clem. Everything fits you now. Okay. <laughs> I got this perfume yesterday. Oh, okay. Um, What is it called, Michelle? Lancome Idolai or something? Idole? I, I Idole? I we, don't know. we have no idea what it's called, but look how thin it is, you guys. The reason that I got it was because I wanted to try new perfume. I've been using for a very long time. I would say for like four or five years of my life, I was using Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. And then Remy introduced me to a new one. Um, it was like one of the gifts that she gave me, and it was the flower flower bomb one or something like that. I don't remember. But I used that for like two years, and then lately I've been wanting to change it up. So I just got this one from Lancome, and it's so thin. I got the smallest one. I'm going to wear it for a while and use it up and see if I like it before I commit to a big one. But I found it on TikTok. Everyone was talking about it, and a lot of the, 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 a lot of the reviews said that... Um, the scent lasts really long, um, and it's very fresh, and it's not too sweet. It just, I like when things smell really fresh. I don't like when it's too sweet. So, if you guys have tried this, leave a comment and let me know what you think about this. <laughs> Give me your first impression. Close your eyes, Mom. Oh, this is kind of cute. Okay. Is that a dress? Yeah, uh, you, it's two strings, and you tie them. Oh. It's dainty. It's a moment. It's this a moment. Wait, this is actually really it's super pretty. Summer oh, well, you have to show me the front, Mom. Oh, I should. <laughs> <laughs> this is really cute. That's cute. Do you That's cute. Do you guys see it? Can you see it? Can you see us? We'll bring it closer. We'll bring it closer. Come on. Okay, there, there, there. 
Ugh. Yeah, now there we you go. can see it. There you go. Yes, that's cute. Okay, so I yes, don't, you don't what? You don't love something? I feel like you would wear it for a photo and then it's gotta go. Oh, okay. It's not a keep. If I wear it out in public, I would definitely cover my arms. Mm. By the way, all these dresses are from Amazon, you guys. Amazon. I will attempt to link them down below. Attempt? <laughs> I don't, I bought them like two months ago. Oh, So this snap. is a two-piece set. This is the top. And then this is a skirt. Oh, that's super cute. And I believe it has a split. Yes, it has a split on the side. Cute! cute. Oh, just kidding. What don't you like about no, it? No, I was gonna say you should wear that for your thing. Oh. Next next week's event. But no. I don't I don't yeah, I was it's gonna say split, is it too know? much. Oh, this is my famous Oh, we love her. We love her. She's from Shein. I wore this and it like sticks to your body. It's that kind of fabric? Yeah, so I don't like it. Goodbye. I'm gonna give it to my family. Okay. I got these shorts from Amazon. Cute. Nice pockets. Yeah. Reminds me of Lululemon. Mm. You have this. Yes. Guys, how cute is this bathing suit? Cute. Cut. Cut. Cut, cut. Is this floral print, like, super in right now or something? I don't know. Cause... Same concept. You tie at the shoulders. Oh, cute. I don't know if this will be flattering on me. I don't know either. It makes me look like I have squish boobies. Oh. You have to lift your boobs once you wear it. Oh, really? Yeah. Don't let it just flat. We have this. I love the skirt part. Okay, okay. We're trying to figure out which one I'm, I'm going to try on for Michelle, but apparently it's looking like I'm trying on everything. I wore this for Carlos's birthday, and I freaking love it. And I, I think, think it was super flattering on you. I think every girl should just go and, like, I'm going to link this as number one. That's really This pretty. was so cute. I love this romper. They had other colors, too. This one is different, but, like, cute. Is that a romper or a dress? It's a dress. It's a dress. I like it, but I don't like it. I well, like what it. What do you like about it? But I don't like it. I like it, but I don't like it. There, it's this that you don't like, huh? Yeah, it's like throwing me off. Uh, okay, okay, okay. It's like sexy Amish. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> milkmaid, milkmaid. Okay, sexy milkmaid. I'm Maid. sorry. Mil I'm sorry. Milkmaid. I saw it on TikTok. Someone said something about Amish, and now it's stuck in my head. I'm it's sorry. It's because everyone's making fun of Target for having. Yeah, a... I'm very sorry. That was very inconsiderate of me. <laughs> this. Nah. You don't like this? Nah. It ties at the waist. Nah. <laughs> you want to see it on? Why so long? Your body done not that long. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Okay. These are all like, I know they'll look good on you. Oh, okay. That's very debatable for me. We'll put in the, my body is not ready for this. <laughs> okay, this one I'm very excited about. The print is very me. I'm very excited about it. Okay. But I'm very nervous that it won't okay, fit me. Okay, okay. And also, it like could possibly show the back rolls. Okay. Okay, love the print. Beautiful, right? It's super pretty. Okay, I'll just try it on. Sorry, Clem. You already know this. I have this in every color. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. The very milkmaid. Oh, I guess I got it in two colors. I don't like that one. Oh, okay. The other one's prettier. You didn't like this one, but I think it's cute when I don't want to, like, dress up but still look presentable. Sure. Michelle has a problem with me dressing like a grandma. It's just, don't you guys agree that she should, like, enjoy her youth while she can? But I'm so done being sexy, you know? You weren't that sexy for that long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which one am I trying on? I want to see this blue one. Your favorite, your best one that you want me to try on. Okay, you know what's very weird is this one's actually my favorite. This one's my favorite, but I just really don't know how I feel about the top. So I'm like, can you try it on and please okay. make it look so fantabulous? Okay, okay. Because turn, the skirt is a dream. Turn off the camera so people don't see my boobies. Okay, bye. It's too big. I got it wrong size. Oh my but god! It's, so cute. <laughs> it's cute. You have to go way smaller. Oh, it's gonna look cute on me. It's so cute. It's super cute. But so, you are way... It was supposed to be like... Yeah. Like that. That's cute. Wait! Get a this smaller so size. Cute. I love that dress. Okay, I like it. It's my favorite. Wait, can you show our friends all the detailing? Yes. This is really cute. It's super cute. Get the wrong size. Yeah, it's a little ginormous so, on her. Um, so if you guys do buy this, I'll link it down below. But the waist is very... Stretchy. The elastic waistband is super, super stretchy. 
But look at all the detailing. Like, so pretty. The skirt is really pretty. And I, re I actually really enjoy this part. Okay. On the hanger, it was kind of like... A hit or miss. Yeah, it wasn't looking too cute. But this is really pretty. And then we got the little, like, flowy sleeves here. Cute. It's cute, right? It's just too big on you. It's too big. So I'm going to give this to Michelle. We can match. Yay. This is really cute. It's super cute. I'm obsessed. I like this one. I want to see the blue on you. Okay, that one? Yeah. Okay. Pretty. Really? But it's big. Ah. Uh, it's really okay, big so on you. Okay, so this is kind of awkward. And I don't know if it's because I just ate a Chipotle bowl. So it's very comfortable right here. But if I go bigger, that means I don't have boobs to fill it. It's like oddly shaped. It doesn't look good? It's not too flattering. No? Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's the shoulders. I don't know if you're going to like this. I mean, it's not bad. It's not? You, no, your back looks fine. Oh, okay. It's not how you imagined it. No? The little details. I are know. So cute. I feel like the top is too long for your body. Oh, okay. Or the skirt is too long for your body. The skirt is too long and maybe the top. E yeah, oh. it's not flattering. Oh, it looks so pretty on the model. Okay. Yeah, it's a beautiful dress, but it has, it has a zipper. I knew it was too big when I got in it without unzipping. Yeah. Next. My nipples out. <laughs> well now. Okay. It kind of looks like greaser. I love it! You don't like it? Okay, fine. It's not bad if you have curly hair. No, no, no. Don't pull it down like no. that. I yeah, can see myself. Kind of like bunch it up. Bunch Do you want to see it? I kind of like it. It's cute. Uh, and yeah. this is kind of big. It's Okay, just pull it down a little well, I bit. Would, I would obviously wear a bra, though. Yeah. And then you tie a bow right there. There's no bow. No, with the... Oh. <laughs> oh! Yeah! Oh! So you I cinch see. it in. I see. Oh. Okay, fine. I doubted it. <laughs> okay, fine. It's, it's not, cute, right? It's not bad. You like it? Yeah, it's not bad. Oh. Like, should I get it in other colors? No. Don't do that. No? You no. don't like it that much? No. I like it. No. You can, like, move. No, stop. No. Okay. <laughs> Next. Oh my god, that waist! Let's talk about her waist! <laughs> well, Lula, it's... The dress made me feel like this. <laughs> the dress made me feel like this, Mom. <laughs> Mom, do I look like a piece of sausage? No, it looks so good on your body. Your tits look really good and your fucking waist look good. Really? I don't know what's going on. I just okay. feel, I feel, I feel really top-heavy right now. Stop. Oh <laughs> Mom, I feel really top heavy right now. Too much? I don't know. Okay, maybe we went a little too. What's wrong with your boobs? Why are they lopsided? <laughs> yeah. No. It's showing a lot of arm, you know. Okay, no. And what? What look like? <laughs> <laughs> they look like the sausage. So you don't like it? <laughs> I feel exposed. <laughs> okay. Okay, no. That's a no. I feel exposed. Okay, okay. You should be like this. Okay. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really pretty dress, though. It's cut right, like, right perfectly for you, too. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That's cute. That's cute. I like it. Is it cute? Yeah. I'm not prepared down there, so we're gonna cut it off. This is cute. It's cute. Isn't it comfortable, too? It's very comfortable. We'll just have to tighten the straps for you. Oh, yeah, we need this tie in, but yeah, I like it. It's cute on it's you. Cute. Okay, bye. Bye. You guys, look. Amazon sent us a bunch of things. Cute little thing. Ooh, we got Echo Buds with wireless charging case. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Fire TV stick. Yeah. Popcorn. Yeah. Ooh, a little star projector. Yes. That's cool. And then we have like an alcohol thing. It's a cocktail speaker. And it comes in this acrylic box thing. And I think we're going to put a dog's toys in here. Oh, it's like a... It's LED, reusable. It's an LED stage lamp. So you like put it on your roof. Oh, cool. And then like... Thanks, uh, Amazon. We love it. Yeah. We're going to reuse this. I love when I can reuse like PR packages. Okay, you guys. We just figured out there's layers to the box. One layer. Is it weird I'm more excited that I get to reuse this? <laughs> Premium incense. Oh, it's a small, it's um, it's their way of supporting small businesses by introducing cool. you, by introducing you to different businesses. Um, dry fruits. Okay, we have an interest. <laughs> Berry pomegranate, ooh. Wait, 
Oh, this is the this is electrolyte mix. Coffee. Coffee. This is ele electrolyte mix. Oh, like you can put it in a uh... water. Yeah. Salt and sea candle. What is this? Face and body scrub. <gasps> Ooh. Whoa. Oh, it's a waffle maker. Oh my god, it's that mini thing. Wow, the mini waffle maker. That's the mini so... dash. That's so cool. That's cool. Oh, okay. I love that. Hey, I have you. Oh my gosh, you do have that. I have this in black and, and uh, white and beige. Okay, why is this, this is the so packaging. cute? Is that a gift card? Stop. It's a gift card. Oh my gosh. I love it. We have sunnies. Oh, I'll take those. Okay. Here, Mom, here. Mom, that gives me um that show that I like, The Serpent. Oh, The Serpent? Oh. What else did I get? Oh, here, Michelle. What's I that? have one, so you can have another one. The... Thing that I've been Thanks. Doing. And then we have nuts, and I think that's it, you guys. Wow. We get this whole container to ourselves. Okay, you're really excited about this container. Oh, hi, friend. Look at, look at this curly like a, a container. We're gonna put the dog's toys in there. Hey, they sent us some leaves. <laughs> Dead. They sent us some leaves. We made Michelle obsessed with Breaking Bad. We're on season three already, you guys, and she started this show like two weeks ago. Yeah. It's so good. Ah, oh, the best show ever. Making some soup here. Made some soup last night, and it was freaking bomb. Everyone loved it, so I'm just heating up the leftovers. It was spare rib soup <coughs> with some baby bow tie. How cute. I wanted to show you guys this set that I got from Amazon when I moved into the house, and I've been using it for six months now. You guys have seen me use it every day whenever I cook in the vlogs and on my mukbang channel. But I'm gonna link it down below because it is such good quality and you get so much in one pack. This is literally everything that I got. Like you get a lot, you guys. I definitely highly suggest. And then you get this thing as well, but I'm using it right now, so it's dirty. So you get one, and then you get a spoon rest as well. So two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and then ten. Oh, I'm missing something else. I'm missing something else. Ten, eleven, twelve. And then I believe it came with this the measuring cups as well. Literally, all of this. I got this whole set together on Amazon. So much stuff. Um, I'll link it down below. Been using it for I think we lived here for six months. Been using it for six months now. Very durable. Very good quality. Nothing has broken off. I love everything about it. I stick it into the dishwasher and it comes out looking brand new. Everything is just great. Really good quality. So I highly suggest. And I love the color. It's just aesthetically pleasing. So I've been wanting to uh, recommend that to you guys for a while now. So I'll have it linked down below. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she told me to do it, friend. Motherfucking Christ. <laughs> Did you film it? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, friends. We're opening up the windows. Hello, hello, hello. They're coming up. We are in the next day. <laughs> Today, we are actually going to... Oh, I can't open up that window because all the boxes are in the way. Carlos is supposed to... Hello there. Carlos is supposed to recycle those boxes, I believe, today. Um, yeah, let me show you my outfit. We're actually going somewhere today. This is my outfit here. I don't know if you guys can tell. I got this top from H&M. I love these tops. Very flowy, very casual. Um, has the buttons down the middle and feels really good. It's supposed to be really hot today. And then I paired it with some uh, Shein shorts. It was really hard. It's been really hard for me to find shorts that are comfortable, that are like denim shorts. And these are really nice. I'll actually link them down below. I got a size 1X. I usually wear large or extra large, but because I just know my thighs are a little bit on the bigger end, I got a 1X and it fits perfectly. And then these shoes are from Miss Lola. We are actually going to pack today. So I have Carlos help me. Carlos help me bring all the bags down. I'm gonna use my Dagny Dover duffel bag and then a backpack for all of my tech stuff because I still have to work 
while I am away. Okay, you guys, I'm only going for one night, so let me get my phone because I wrote like a whole itinerary, so I'll be right back. This bag is literally amazing. It's by the brand Dagny Dover, which is a little bit more of an investment brand, but I love it so much. I got it in, I believe this is a size medium. And if you're someone who travels a lot, the reason I got this was because I used to travel all the time. The, on the back of the duffel, there's actually this insert. You can slide it down your suitcase um, handle. And so it attaches to your suitcase and you can just wheel everything through the airport. The biggest problems I ever had was um, I never wanted to carry a backpack because it was so heavy. heavy. Sometimes I would travel like international and it was just way too heavy to be carrying that when you have connecting flights and then when you put a bag on top of your suitcase you guys know sometimes your, your bag falls off your suitcase so it's really cool that they came out with this bag and it connects to the top of the suitcase and this is a medium which is a very decent size they also have a large I think Michelle has the large olive green one that she uses and that one's really big and it comes with like a bunch of attachments and stuff like it comes with like this bag for like your shoes. I love this bag. I'll link it down below and I love this color too. And then this is actually supposed to be a diaper bag, which Carlos and I did buy as a diaper bag because there was a um there was a sale happening and so we were like, oh you know, eventually I'm gonna want it. So we got it and right now instead of using it as a diaper bag, I use it as a work bag to put my computer in. So this will this is my actually my first time using it, so I'm very, very excited to put all of my computer stuff in here. The inside of the bag is really cool. The inside of the bag is really cool. It has a cup holder. Oh, I don't know if you guys can tell. There's a cup holder in there, and it's so spacious. You can even make it bigger by unclipping the sides. So it expands like this. You don't have to use it as a diaper bag because that's what I'm doing right now. I'm using it as a work bag. But if you guys do choose to use it as a diaper bag, Sorry, that was so bright. It comes with a bunch of different pouches and it comes with a diaper changing little mat in case you have to change your kids. And then I think I bought this separately, but you can buy this separately. It's like a whole bag here. It has another changing thing, I think. So like a bunch of stuff, you guys. Highly re recommend. I love it. This is the diaper bag, which is like the large size. I also have the medium size, which I carry. And you guys probably have seen it. I carry it everywhere with me. It's so comfortable. And then I also have a small green one that I love. And I carry that sometimes. But the reason that I got a, a size a little bit bigger was because I wanted to um, fit my new camera. I've been using the Fujifilm camera. And it's a little bit bigger than the little Canon G7X and the little Canon M50 that I was using. So I will pack the tech in here in a little bit, but for now, we gotta pack the clothes that we will be wearing.